The cage system is the easiest and most powerful system that we have for navigating the guitar neck. So in this video, I'm going to give you five reasons why you need to know this and give you four exercises to really drive it home to make sure that you understand it. All right. So here we go. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with the cage system, I'll go over it briefly, but essentially it's a system of using the five basic major chord shapes, C major, A major, G major, E major, and D major. C-A-G-E-D, spelling caged, using those four or five forms, I should say, using those five forms across and up the neck, up the neck, down the neck, in order to play the same chord in five different forms. So you've heard of bar chords, and this is using some of those bar chords. So for instance, and the great thing about this method is it goes in the order of the word caged, C-A-G-E-D. It's not just that we're using those chords, but it also works in order. So for instance, if I wanted to play a C chord five different ways on the neck, this is how I do it. And again, I'm just going to do this briefly because I have other videos where I go into it in more detail. I'm assuming that you kind of have an idea here, but if we have a C major chord, I could play it as a C major form. I could play a C chord as an A major form, as if we had that bar chord, that A chord, we we're moving it up. A C chord as a G major form, as an E major form, and as a D major form. Okay, so now there is an attached PDF here that'll help you with that because I really want to get into the reasons why and show you these exercises so that we can get on with this and I can really drill this home and, and for those of you that are on the fence about this, convince you that you got to know it because it's absolutely so helpful in everything that you do. Okay, so first off, some of the reasons why is um, the ability to play other chord voice voicings up the neck. So why would we want to do this? Well, for several reasons. One, if we're playing in a band situation, we might not want to play the same chord as our other player, right? Uh, as our other, uh, say, band member or other, other guitar player. So we would want to make sure that we had another voicing. So we would want to, want to be able to, to, to make sure we knew the cage system to be able to do that. Uh, also, inspiration. Sometimes one chord is not going to be as inspiring as another chord or the voicing of it, meaning you might be able to noodle out some notes on one particular chord form, whereas the other one just kind of incapaci incapacitates your hand. For instance, like this one here, I can't do too much with. I could, I could do a... Uh, suspension there, but in other cases here, I might be able to might be able to do a lot more with it. Okay, so for inspiration, that's yet another thing to thicken up a track. So a lot often, oftentimes, when I'm playing guitar in the studio and I want to have a second guitar or a third guitar, or whatever, uh, I will use different voicings to really thicken up that track and make it sound pro. Okay, uh, number four is knowing where to put your capo. So for instance, if I know that the song's in the key of C, and this is the chord I'm going for is a C, I know that I could put the capo right here and use an A form. Or I could put the capo here and use a G form. Or put the capo here and use an E form. Or put the capo here and play a a D form, okay? So very helpful. Um, you're not gonna get that from me just saying that. You'll have to delve into my capo videos and everything. You'll see a link in the description below for a free course that I have created specifically for you that covers all that stuff. Um, but nonetheless, that's number four. And number five is um, to have instant access across the neck for soloing, improvisation, and that sort of thing. So we're not gonna get into it in this video, we're just gonna be talking about the chords, but essentially the same chords will outlay the pentatonic scale for you all across the neck, making soloing super easy. I have a whole course for that inside the Unstoppable Guitar System. Again, a taste of that, my gift to you is that link below, uh, or go to yourguitarsage.com slash 30, okay? So now those are the five reasons as to why you need to know this, okay? So let me show you uh, a few different ways that you might want to practice this in order to really drill this home because it's one thing to conceptualize it and go, yeah, 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 I know that. I know the cage system. I know what it does. And it's another thing to actually use it and to be quick at it, okay? And if you're not the latter, 
then you might as well not know the cage system because just knowing it isn't gonna help you. You need to be able to apply it. You need to be able to be quick with it. You need to be able to, to use it for all the reasons that we mentioned here, okay? So let's check this out. So uh, one way that is easiest to do is to just play this ascending, okay? So you need to be able to play the C form, the A form, the G form, the E form, the D form easily. And you can keep, you can repeat on the way up, right? So, until you run out of frets. So, starting from the C, it's very easy to do that. C, A, G, E, and D. If you're having trouble with this, just remember that the C and the A toggle off of the fifth string root. So here's a fifth string root. That's where our C is. And so our, our A toggles off that same note, right? And as far as the G and the E, they toggle off of the sixth string root. So here's our C. Here it is on the sixth string. And here's our G form. Here's our E form. Both toggling off of that sixth string root. And lastly, the D form, just like the D chord, has the bass note on the fourth string, that's where we're gonna find our D form root. So just remember the first two are on the fifth string, the second two are on the sixth string, and the last one, uh, the D form will be on the fourth string, okay? So just in case you have any issues with that. Also, another thing that I like to do is I like to connect them like this. Like I know that this note right here, this finger here is gonna connect that next chord. I know that this bottom part here is gonna, or this top part here is gonna be the bottom part of the G form. And then this note here is gonna connect the E form. And then this pinky here is gonna connect the D form. And that little triangle there is gonna be present in the C form. This will make more sense if you look at the PDF that I'm providing for you. The link for that's below in the description of the video, okay? So, exercise one, just going up the neck, ascending, how, any, how everybody should do it, right? And then, of course, the next way is you really wanna be able to do it backwards, because if you can't, again, you, you're not gonna know it, and we wanna be quick at this. So, we're backwards, so, so cage, so D, D form, E form, G form, A form, C form. So that's the second exercise you wanna do. You gotta be able to play it going up, of course, spelling the word cage. You gotta be able to spell it going backwards, okay? Number three is you wanna be able to, to skip. So uh, going from C to the G to the A to the E to the G, to the D, to the E, to the C. So ba basically what we're doing is we're just skipping. C, G, A, E, G, D, E, C, okay? And then of course, you do wanna be able to do this backwards again as well. So there's our, our C form, there's our E form, our D form, G form, E form, A form, G form, C form, okay? Now, there's four different ways that you can practice this. I know I've thrown a lot at you, but I promise you, if you get this down, it's gonna help immensely with navigating the neck and understanding where you're at. The cage system's where it's at, friends. You gotta know it for soloing and for chords. I promise you, you can apply this to major chords, minor chords, um, diminished chords, you can apply it seventh chords, you can apply it to anything. Uh, I don't do it so much with diminished chords, but with seventh chords, major chords, minor chords, I do this. Uh, I have a whole course for it inside the Unstoppable Guitar System. Again, take advantage of all the gifts that I have for you. There's cards and all sorts of fun stuff for you to have here. So uh, be looking out for that. Like this video if you do, thumb, thumbs up and all that good stuff. If you don't like it, uh, double thumbs down. Leave your comments below. I'm here for you. Please let me know how I can help. I'll see you in the next video.